when they're really vulnerable and really exposed, when it's something that just makes you uncomfortable, you know, when Leonard Cohen says certain things that just make you uncomfortable to even hear another human being say those things, that to me is like, wow, that's change. Wow, that's, that's a good thing. And that doesn't have to be based in hatred or anything. That, that's more of a self-immolation or a, even a Catholic thing. There's a kind of appeal in vulnerability, and there's an appeal in sort of a quantum vulnerability where you really are exposing something. It's like, yeah, what are you gonna do, kind of thing. Yeah, come here, fuck with me. I'm only like hanging upside down on a cross. It's totally masochistic. It was about the expression of my experience. I was not coming from a black void. I was trying to create light. I am trying to create light. I am trying to heal. How can you heal? Through martyrdom, I guess, at this point in my life. I felt like people want to know about my pain. They have to get a morbid fascination like human beings do. I want to be like Christ which coming from me, of all people, probably hard, people have a hard time understanding that. My life isn't all of it. It's after my death. Look at a Van Gogh, he's not alive. He affects me. Those dead sunflowers say everything to me about fertility and about men menopause that I could ever think of. something when I grew up and I grew up in the 70s and what was I gonna be? A movie star? Movie stars say other people's words. A writer? I'm undisciplined. A rock star? That's what I wanted to be when I was a kid. I started with The Runaways, the idea I'm gonna be in a band. I wanted to be the brains, you know, the musician. A friend of mine for years came to see my band all night long. Female Jim Morrison, Courtney, you've got to do it for the kids. You're the female Jim Morrison. I'm not the female Jim Morrison. How can any woman be the female Jim Morrison? What Jim Morrison was, was a sexual object for women. We invented rock and roll to sexualize men so that we could go and scream over these unattainable football captains. You said you couldn't be Jim Morrison. What can you be? An undefined archetype, so it's dangerous, so no one knows. I'm not checking my sexuality at the door. I'm shoving semiotically all of this female sexuality, all of these things that symbolize historically what we are supposed to aspire to. Lipstick, hair, legs, tits. I'm not going to be masculine, even though I'm sort of masculine, but very feminine. I wanted the prize, and I might get the prize, and if I don't get the prize, I'll be kind of sad. But I'll have gone down as being someplace in evolution that is a reference point to whoever does get the prize. The prize being the crown passed from man to man to man in rock and roll, and the prize is to get that crown and everything that goes with it, 
as a woman on a woman's terms. I want to affect culture in a very large way. If I fucking die without having written th two, three, or four brilliant rock songs, fucking, I don't know why I live my life. Do not hurt yourself, destroy yourself, mangle yourself to get the football captain. Be the football captain. That's it. It's that simple. trying more to negotiate the world on the world's terms and trying to subvert some sort of archetype because I had so much insecurity about that archetype in my own life and didn't really want to participate in that archetypical way. But at the same time, I knew that being all haggy or butch or just plain, it was fine with me in terms of my colossal legendary vanity, but it seemed more powerful to create something else, just to see what would happen. I was blonde, wore makeup, and had to support my band by dancing, and had to play this ridiculous archetype at work. So I took just like high heels and white pumps, and I had a wiglet and stuff. Take that and just mess with it. Kiss girls, won't she promise her smack? Is she pretty on the inside? Is she pretty from the back? I was really involved with feeling plain and feeling ugly. What is beauty, vanity, and competition amongst women? This whole worshiping at the altar of beauty is ridiculous. Even though I'm guilty of some of that myself, it's something that at least I struggle with. I'd never just give in to it completely. Oh my god, I can't believe you're saying that. Do you know how many zits I have right now? Five? I'm menstruating, you think that now? I'm not cruel. I don't dish out cruelty. I don't expect to have cruelty hurled back at me, no matter what I provoke in you. If I'm provoking some kind of, you're not used to this, you're not used to seeing an archetype destroyed or subverted like this, fine, but it seems like such a violent reaction. Got something for you. I've always been provocative towards guys like that. They're lame. And they make it not fun for nerdy guys and nerdy girls and uncool people. It's like these self-righteous jock pricks up at the front. And they come there just to razz you, to tell you that they have a boner or they want to see your tits or you're ugly or you're a whore or something. They're ridiculous. Are you gonna sit and watch me? Watch me, watch me.